Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another Dokkan In-Depth video. Today we're going over the new Frieza Final Form GT and the Cell uh, Perfect Form GT. These are the ones that are currently available on the banner. Um, this is going to be up a little bit later in the week. It's currently 4th of July, so happy 4th of July. Yay! It's like probably July 6th or 7th by the time this is going out. Um, Anger, Roaring in Hell, Frieza Final Form GT. Leader ability is physical type or extreme physical type. Uh, key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 90%, which is actually really freaking good. It's pretty cool if you think about it. Um, he's a, that's a really nice leader ability. Uh, if you don't have any other leaders, obviously. Um, uh, not any other leaders, but most leaders. Uh, so new players, that's going to be good for you. Super attack, hell, buster, supreme damage with a medium chance to stun the enemy. So he is a stunner guy. Passive skill, evil, deepening, in hell. Attack and defense plus 80%, plus an additional attack plus 100%, and attacks effective against all types. That's the Gogeta passive when the enemy is sealed. Whoa, mind blown, how crazy. Yes, he is actually a really good unit when you take that into consideration. Uh, the problem is you need to seal the enemy. And another problem is most Dokkan events prevent you from sealing the enemy. So for Dokkan events, maybe he'll come in handy like the first round, maybe the second round, but uh, most of the end rounds, he's not gonna be that useful. But for every other event, he definitely will be, especially if it's a more difficult event. Um, so that's keep that in mind. Uh, unfortunately, he has no categories, but his link skills are Prodigies, Universe's Most Malevolent, Shocking Speed, Strongest Clan in Space, and Nightmare GT, and Shattering the Limit. And mind you, this is his Dokkan variant. Uh, max stats are HP of 8996, Attack of 8058, and Defense of 4702. Now, you can increase his super attack with this guy over here. I did mention it when I went over that other video uh, for the actual event for the Dragon Ball GT, the Super 17 event, whatever it is. This card over here, Resurrected for Revenge, Frieza, Final Form GT. He is a farmable unit. He falls from one of the paths on level 2. Go ahead, do it on Z-Heart, follow the Frieza path, and you can actually farm him up to Super Attack 10 pretty easily. Once you get him out to Super Attack 10, uh, then Dokkan Awaken him, obviously, unless you have two paths you want to fill in. And then do that. He's a really awesome unit. And attack and defense plus 80% is nothing to, like, laugh at. He's actually pretty good. And, uh, I mean, he will do decently on a mono extreme team. Uh, just because, like, he, he has some of the link skills that Final Form Frieza has and the Korra has. So, in terms of best linking buddies, let's see over here. Five link skills up on the top with these guys. First one is going to be the Angel Frieza. The Frieza Final Form. Um, the Angel Frieza over here. That was from the Other World Tournament event. Genius, Universe Most Malevolent, Strongest Clan in Space, Shocking Speed, and Nightmare. So, he's getting four key and 20, 35% attack buff with him. And this Angel Freeze is actually pretty good since it got changed up on the uh, on the JP side. Attack puts 100% up and defense puts 80% up. These two are actually gonna be pretty damn good linking buddies. The other one's gonna be the OG Frieza final form. I really wish he got a rebirth um, or an extreme Z awakening. Obviously he's not because he Doken awakens. Attack plus 30% up, so he's never gonna really be utilized, but he shares five link skills nonetheless. Uh, genius, yeah, the same ones exactly, pretty much. Yeah, same ones, 35% up four key. Uh, the, for the Korra over here, if you saw my LR, uh, LR Korra, Korra Ops Corpse, whatever it is, uh, linking guide slash team building guide, he is very useful. He links with um, four link skills, six key and 10% attack buff for Nightmare. Um, he links with the Final Form Frieza, which we have over here. Final Form Frieza, which actually works because they're both physical units. So it's what, two key and 35% attack buff. No fierce battle, which kind of stinks, but what can you do? Um, the new cell, which we are going to also be talking about in this video, for four link skills, Shocking Speed, GT, Shattering the Limit, and Nightmare. Um, and you have this Frieza over here, the Final Form Frieza. He is a free-to-play unit that you get from the event, uh, the actual Dokkan event. He has Genius, yeah, well, 25% attack buff and four key. And you have this random TUR or SSR uh, version of the Golden Angel Frieza that you get from another event. <laughs> So he has some decent linking buddies. Pretty much the most optimal ones that you're going to link with him is going to be the Tech Frieza, the, the Tech Angel Frieza, uh, the Full Power Frieza, and possibly this cell. We'll have to see. Uh, oh, and the Korra. But Korra is not going to be his primary linking buddy. He is going to be like a support unit. In terms of mono extreme phys or mono physical team, we didn't really specify extreme, but it is specifically going after extreme. For SSR or higher, you have... Core and full power phrase, which we already talked about, and for three key over here, uh, this physical cell. So this cell over here for three link skills is going to be two key, or sorry, four key and 10% attack buff. Uh, I don't have to go over the other two. Uh, Korra, actually, I should probably go over since he wasn't actually on the list before. It was only full power Frieza. Uh, honestly, full power Frieza and Korra are best linking buddies, but he shares four link skills with, uh, or four key links with the uh, final form Korra, and he shares uh, universal malevolent. 
uh, for 15% attack buff. So uh, it's not that bad. For a physical team, they, they do all share the, the Frieza stuff together. Um, he does link better with the full power Frieza. Obviously, your full power Frieza is going to be with your Korra, most likely. Uh, so you're not going to link those two together. But he is available there, and he's going to be a pretty damn good unit. Now, about his passive, right? He, he needs to... Um, in order for him to be effective against all types, you need to have his uh, uh, enemy sealed, right? So we have a whole bunch of different units over here that seal. Unfortunately, if you're mono running a mono extreme team, I mean, it's kind of actually fortunate. So fortunate for you, for us, we do have an extreme sealer. Um, it is going to be the Boo Tanks, right? The Majin Boo Go Tanks Absorb. He seals. He does super class enemies defense minus 50 and uh, 50 percent and attack plus 100 percent. So that's actually not that bad. He's really good in terms of attack damage. He seals attacks, does supreme damage. Uh, he's an A tier unit. He has some decent link skills. Not that much that you're going to run on this team, most likely, but he is there. He Doken Awakens from this guy over here, um, so he's not that bad before that anyway. So now he's actually even better because he gets that Doken Awakening with that attack plus 100%. So this is going to be your sealer. Um, I don't know how well these guys are actually going to link together, so let's, let's actually go check it out real quick and see how well these two link together. Um, so we're looking for the actual... Just, no, it's this one over here. So they only share one link skill, guys. That's... That's sad. Uh, Nightmare for 10% attack buff. There's also this other boot over here, but that's the ma the magical boot evil, I guess. I don't know what that is. But uh, so he only has one. I mean, it's not that bad, I guess, right? Because you could throw him up on here. And if you throw him and let's just say another one of these boos, you have the kid boo. Uh, you have, uh, well, this this is the boo evil over here. This is another evil boo over here. Uh, the two of them can link with him for three link skills. And remember, seals usually last two rounds. So you're usually pretty good there. Um, but that is available. There are other sealers as well. If you're running it like on a rainbow team, like a rainbow villains team, uh, in terms of agility, there's really no one good on an agility team for you to root or agility sealers uh, at all. But uh, in terms of others, you have tech tech. You have a whole bunch of different sealers that are good. Um, number one is really just going to be that Barba because he's an orb changer. Uh, the new cell is a sealer, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. He does, they do link well together. Uh, the Jackie Chun's a sealer. The other Barak is a sealer. Um, so you have some decent ones. I mean, especially the Barak and the Cell on the Intelligence, they're definitely good sealers. Uh, over here for Strength, there's not that many good sealers. You do have this Doken. That's an SR that Doken Awakens into uh, Majin Buu, Gotenks Absorb. He's not that great in my opinion. He only does extreme damage, but he does seal. So keep that in mind. Um, and then for Physical, oh my god, Physical. The, these three over here, beautiful, beautiful. Actually, four of them. Uh, all of these guys are, are, are phenomenal sealers. Thing is, most of, the, most of them are... Uh, actually going to be um uh they're actually going to be more towards heroes like the the bardock and the go tanks are really awesome awesome units uh but they're heroes so you're not gonna run them on the extreme team uh the free-to-play cell over here um is, is this the free-to-play cell uh, yeah that is the free-to-play cell the free-to-play cell does seal he is extreme uh he's just he's free to play so you really don't have you know that great he is a support unit though so you keep that in mind you could probably you could run him right next to that frieza if you want to and it won't be that bad. Uh, we can go over here. Let me go over to this real quick. And we can throw that new cell up in there. And we'll get this boo out. So they share three link skills together. Uh, four key and 10% attack buff. Which isn't that bad uh, for that Frieza. All things considering. I mean obviously you want to have more attack buffs on there. To Frieza. But you could run these two together on a mono physical team. The free to play cell. Have cell first. Then have Frieza go in second. That way uh, Frieza can be effective against all type. Uh, again that's up to you on how you want to play it. This is the thing that I was talking about where it's kind of difficult to try and get your team set up um, when you're trying to have him, you know, actually be effective against all types. It's a little bit of work, but when you do it, it's definitely effective. Uh, I mean, think of it. When he's effective, he's doing 180%. I mean, I think there's that's even more than that. His additional attack plus 100% is calculated separately for a total boost of 260% plus type effectiveness against the sealed enemy. So, and a free-to-play farm up his super attack, this guy's actually pretty damn broken. You just need to make sure the enemy sealed. And again, for Doken exclusives or Doken events, it's going to be very difficult to uh, make sure that that happens. Uh, plus, you got to understand, too, the, uh, the cell is going to give him the nice buff if you want to use this cell. He's getting the attack and defense plus 25% if you link them right next to each other. Plus, he gives the HP recovery 7% at the start of the turn, so it's kind of worth it. Anyway, uh, I spent way too much time on that. Let's go over to the new cell. We have the cell Groaning Hatred cell, perfect form GT. Elite ability is extreme intelligence type, key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Super attack. Hellbuster, Supreme Damage, Seals, Enemy Super Attack. So like the physical one, the physical Frieza needs to be, has to have the enemy sealed. So these two can go together again if you're trying to do a, a hero, a villains team that is. Um, but on a mono physical team, you're definitely going to want to run the uh, free to play cell. Uh, this one is going to be passive skill, Devil and Hell, Attack and Defense plus 80%, plus an additional attack of 100%, um, and attacks effective against all types when the enemy is stunned. 
Now that is a lot more difficult to pull off unless you're running a full stunner team. Now, luckily for us, Intelligence has a very high stun rate or stun team. Um, the, the most notable being that uh, General Blue, who has like the highest stun rate in the game. Uh, anyway, let's go on. Link skills are Gentleman, Brainiac, Shocking Speed, Ultimate Life Form, Nightmare, GT, and Shattering the Limit. Max stats are HP of 9274, attack of 8170, and defense of 4424. And he also has his super attack increased by the physical cell that we had talked about, this guy over here, who's also from the GT event, which we already talked about. Um, and he's going to be available also on stage two, which we talked about. Uh, just go down the cell path and you can go ahead and do that. Um, now, when you want to go and get his, um, once you get him up super attack 10, if you're trying to get him stunned or get your enemy stunned, it's going to be a little bit difficult. When he does, you get a 260% attack buff, like uh, like the same thing with the Frieza. You need to look at your, your stunners, though. 70% chance of, of attack buff over here is for General Blue. Now, on the JP side, you guys are lucky because on the JP side, you have this guy, this General Blue. I think he was from what the heroes uh, the, the Raleigh crossover summon. We, I think, did we get this? I don't think we got this yet on the global version yet. Uh, maybe we did, and I just didn't get him. Oh, no, we did get him. All right, I didn't get him personally. I did want him, though. Uh, so he has a great chance to stun the enemy. Uh, it says 70% here on the wiki. I know that there was a huge debate stating that he's supposed to be like 75%, just above the uh, deep blue gaze of General Blue. But this one's actually easier to get because he is from the um, the actual World Tournament Dragon Ball Saga summons. This guy's actually pretty cool, though. Medium chance to stun all enemies, attack uh, that all... Uh, Medium chance that all enemies attack minus 20%, uh, and he has a great chance to stun. So he's pretty awesome. Same thing with this guy. Uh, once you go there, from there, 50% chance is all the rest of these guys. Uh, honestly, though, for villains, you don't have that many good villains that will do that. For a mono-physical team, you do have this Goku and the TUR variant of, him, of himself. For a mono-physical team that they could run together. Um, outside of that, uh, the Frieza. The, the Frieza that, uh, the free-to-play one. Um, well, actually, this is the free-to-play. The free-to-play intelligence one. Um, and the actual one that's summonable on the banner. Uh, in terms of intelligence, um, like I said, the General Blue, and then you also have this uh, Majin Buu with Bobbity Absorb. Uh, yeah, Buu Kid Bobbity. So he has a high chance to stun the enemy, and that's pretty much, well, that's the only thing you really worry about. He's from the G Dragon Ball Hero Summon, so that one's exclusive to the JP side. But uh, overall, not that bad. I mean, again, Cell is Intelligence, so you want the Intelligence. You do have the two General Blues that are available. If you have either one of them, you have a very high chance of stunning the enemy. You're going to want to run those two next to, next to each other. Unfortunately, they're not going to really link that well together. Uh, best linking buddies in-game happens to be the Physical uh, the physical Frieza and Nova Shenron um, for uh, eight link skills, eight key links, that is. So eight key links, and then the Frieza, obviously, you're going to have six key links and Nightmare, because we already talked about him. In terms of mono intelligence, uh, SSR or higher, this is the free-to-play Frieza. Three link skills over here. Um, actually, all of these are three or more, and that kind of stinks for a mono intelligence team. But three link skills, so four key and 10%. The Jackie Chun is going to be four key and 10%. Uh, Whis is going to be six key, plus Whis is a support unit. Um, Pai Kuhan, which we still have to do a video on that, is going to be six key. Korra, support unit. It's funny how he links with all these guys. Uh, four key, 10% attack buff, and Hellfighter 17, which is four key and 10% attack buff. Luckily, you know, these guys are all pretty damn decent. Uh, you really want to try and focus on someone who stuns, though, if you want to do that. In terms of the stunner, I guess we're going to go over here real quick. Let me go and see if I can bring up the general blue. I just want to see how well these guys are actually link. I mean, if they even have a link skill together, um, because that would make it a little bit nicer. Maybe if they had, like, a key link. Um, that would be a little bit more viable when trying to create a team. There is the General Blue, and nope, they don't have a single link skill together. But hey, you know what? I guess that's all you can really do for now. Well, who does General Blue even link with? I'm oh, sorry, we're getting a little bit off topic, but he doesn't even link with anyone here on a mono intelligence team. Two or more, he's going to have to link with, and they're only the Dragon Ball guys. Well, I guess that's not bad if you're running this, um, uh, this Demon King Piccolo. The stun should last, I believe, for two turns. They have two key and 20% attack buff. But honestly, I don't think it's worth going out of the way. So personally, I don't think the cell is worth it. Um, if you can get him to get that super attack off, that's great when the enemy is stunned. But I wouldn't bank on it. You're guaranteed a seal. This freeze is definitely be a lot more viable. But that's just my opinion. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I hope that was helpful and informative for you. I hope I was able to help you understand how their passives work. It's a little bit more complicated that they're doing. Um, again, I think Frieza has a lot more options available just because its ceiling is 100% chance as long as it's like not prevented from an Indokan event. Uh, so you could definitely get that uh, effective type of against uh, the effective against all types plus the attack plus 100%, which comes out to like 260 something percent. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I'll catch you all in the comments. Peace.